What's going on everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Rogue Legacy. In the last episode we made a phenomenal jump in uh, in progress. We killed the big eyeball dude, which is really cool. Uh, Kadir was his name. We got a ton of gold, which we're going to spend and um, that's about it. We got a lot of money. What's this? Drops and teleports to your shadow. Quantum translocator. We already knew that. <clears throat> we already had that. So let's take the barbarian king who has perfect memory. I have weak limbs, so they won't get knocked. Enemies don't get knocked back. That could be dangerous. But let's go for it. Can have, <clears throat> and he has a dagger. Might as well give it a shot. Um, so we have 2,800 gold to play with here. And that's going to be really important. I think we should aim for unlocking all the classes. So let's unlock the Lich. I don't know what that's going to end up doing. Master of Life and Death, the Lich uh, has unlimited potential. Every kill grants Lich permanent health, making them truly dangerous. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> And we can upgrade him as well, but not quite yet. I think we're going to go spend this money a little bit. Oh, let's throw down some armor. Maybe a little bit more damage as well. Um, yeah, we'll throw down oh, the rest of our money on some damage. So we'll just do some straight-on upgrades right now. We should probably be spending it on runes and stuff, but <clears throat> I'm a risky fellow. That's fine. Not going to worry about it. We're just going to head right into the dungeon and hope that we end up doing really well. So we have bounty on, so we're going to get a little bit more money than we normally would. Did not mean to keep that out, actually. I probably want to get double jump back. Eh, that's debatable. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But we're one-shotting these guys now, which is really good to see. I'm actually really happy about that. Let's see if we can kill off... Well, we can almost one-shot him. No big deal. We got, what, one enemy left in here? And a skeleton? I'm, assu Ow. I'm assuming we'll get a... We'll get a one-shot off on a skeleton at the very least. So, things are looking really good with this, with this already. We have better armor, more damage... Things are just looking good. We have a Lich now we can grab. Uh, the Lich and the Shinobi are probably going to be my favorites. What is this? Uh, we found the Blade Wall. So we swapped our spell for the Blade Wall. I'm okay with that, actually. I prefer the Blade Wall, as you know. I think it was the spell that really allowed us to kill the Kadir guy. Um, pretty effectively, just because of what it was, uh, what it did. It just sat there and did damage. So I'm okay with that. Let's just explore a little bit now. I think... Now, is Kadir permanently dead? I don't know. Um, I'd be curious to see what happens if Kadir is, is actually permanently dead or if I get to fight him again. If I get to fight him again, which is fine, um, it's going to allow for uh, us to grind up some extra cash. But I'm not sure if he'll allow us to kind of get that much money all told all over again. Um, we got to be very careful here in this room. But we were able to do it nice and easy. I'm curious. I'm very curious if Kadir is still alive, actually. Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm something I probably should have done some research on. Uh, we're not getting that much gold. We're getting a lot of, like, little drops. There we go. That was a nice big drop. I was say, no real big drops right now. A little bit of mana. That health. We don't really need it right now. We can leave that there for, for later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, we're in the forest. You know, let's do some exploration in the forest. Oh, we got a blueprint for a knight's sword. I'll take it. Whoa. So this guy is a boss. Blazelock. That's why he's gonna be as tough as he is. This Santa Claus flying in the background. It's kinda cool. I don't know what all this, uh, how these blinky things are. But this is not doing so too bad either. We're doing actually pretty decent here. A lot of, this is a very vertical um, run. A lot of jumping involved. Oh, another treasure chest too. That is excellent. It feels good, man. They've done a good job at making it feel like progress in this game. Um, whoop. There's a lot of, like, you know, you can feel yourself getting more and more powerful the more you you play. The forest isn't actually all that bad. We've actually done pretty well as far as uh, damage goes. We actually could probably hold our own. I don't know if there's a specific order in which they want you to accomplish certain floors, but Mr. Bones, buddy. Um, it seems like the forest would be the next one. What the hell is that? Can we not dead. I don't know what that was, but that scared me a little bit. And then I got caught off in the corner, which is kind of weird. So things here are taking two hits, maybe three again, so that's a good sign, I'd say, of us being in the right area. Things aren't incredibly too difficult, but they're just difficult enough to pose a challenge. And whoa, 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 whoa. Holy money. We're about to make as much money as we got for killing the boss. Oh, is a chest over there? chest I missed? Aha. Good thing my guy has, like, perfect memory, because I'm, I'm curious how many freaking things I've missed by just kind of not fully exploring a room before leaving. I'm sure the answer is too much. Too many. 
All right, let's uh let's head up here and head to the left. A lot of enemies here, but looks like they're avoidable. What is up with these blinky lights? What the, what the hell is this guy? Oh, hey, whoa. This guy... Alright, not bad. I just gotta get behind him. Ow! So if I, hit his, if I hit his shield, I get knocked way the hell back. What is this thing? Dead. Let's have him try and come over this way. I need him to, because I'm not going to be able to get up on this thing if he doesn't. Dead. Nice and easy. Now we could... Yeah, let's go all the way up top and explore this to the right first. Oh, God. Alright, I'll do that. That's actually not so bad. Oh, shit. No, it's pretty rough. I really need to follow through. Oh, God. What the hell is this? A 4x chain? What? I have no idea. Oh, Bone Archer! Bone Archer! Oh, my life is almost dead. Uh oh! Walked right into him. That's not the enemy I want to die by. Sir Darwin has been slain by a tall guard. That's fine. We made some good money. Who's next? Lady Priscilla, Lady Teresa, and the Miner. A hero for hoarders. Very weak, but has a huge bonus to gold. Let's try the Miner. Let's try him. And let's spend some money on gear. Let's spend some money purely on gear. Uh, let's see, we've got, this is a knight sword, it's gonna give us more damage, it's gonna make us weigh a little bit more, that's fine, we'll get the knight sword. Um, what else do we got? Uh, we're gonna have plus 35, I need more strength before we can buy any more of this shit. Uh, that's fine, let's go purchase, um, some runes. We got the dash rune, let's grab the dash rune. Haste rune, increase my base move speed. And... Oh, the cape one. Oh, there's the cape bounty one, which we definitely want to get. So we can replace the one that's on our helmet. That way we have that. So we should be a little bit quicker now. Alright, I can I can do a little bit of dashing now, which is awesome. But this guy is like a purely for a money horde run. That's what this guy's going to be for. So we'll see exactly how well he ends up paying off for us. How much money will we get for him? Holy crap. Is that going to happen a lot? Where I just like get huge stacks of cash like that, that drop for me. So he gets a bonus of like three gold. So not that big. Question is, he still does decent damage too. It's not that bad. That's just, I think that's just a lucky bag of gold drop. I expected him to do like ten damage, but um, he would get like more big stacks of cash, kind of drop more often. So I expect him to be much weaker and provide a bigger reward. He's more of middling ground than I thought he would be. I mean, 14 is not that much kind of, you know, gold dropping me. And it's, it's decent. It's definitely going to end up adding up, but I was hoping for a much bigger kind of uh, bonus than that. It doesn't have much, that much life either. So for the amount of money that I'm, I'm getting in bonus, I don't think the uh, the life lost is, is all that worth it. A blood sword. That sounds badass. I'll have to check that out. We need to upgrade our carrying capacity, though. That's going to be, the, like, the next focus in our, on our upgrade trees. We'll take a look at that next time around. Okay. I want to kind of attack him, but there we go. I need him to come down closer, because I didn't want to over-jump, essentially, and get my butt kind of hit by spikes. Whoop. Die. Nice. So this castle now, even with the potentially, quote-unquote, weak characters, is essentially kind of a joke. Um, because everything just kind of dies in one hit, which is nice. It means I'm going to farm the hell out of it with this miner. I, I still want, I'm very curious to see if they, uh, the boss is still around and something we can fight. Skeletons, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ow, that was kind of stupid damage to be taken. That's fine. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Okay, ow. You know, not overly impressed. Not overly impressed at all by this guy. Not all that great. I do better just uh, playing a character who's strong and just ripping through them with the bounty rune. And with this, I bet you his bonus can kind of be equaled with a couple of bounty runes on different pieces of gear, too. Journal entry number seven. It's still night. Past every window stares back the same melancholic moon, but I swear I've been here for at least a whole waking day. It must be the adrenaline. I have never felt so powerful yet simultaneously challenged. It is exhilarating to charge through these rooms, cutting down enemy after enemy. Some ways the foes in this castle feel tailored to me, training me, guiding me, watching me. 
This may sound crazy, but if this castle can somehow sense those within it, I fear it may hold malicious intent as well. If my assumptions are correct, the design of these halls could all be a ploy, culling me down further into a trap. I must stay alert. Well, sir, you have it, like, about 100% correct, so... Take no damage. Noted. Oh, this one right here. Ah. Oh, and he died. God damn it. I thought I was going to be able to do it. Sir Judson slipped away. Not going to get much as far as cash goes. Let's see. What do we got? Pa uh, we got three barbarians. Barbarian King, who's ADD. He's got weak muscles and blade wall. Perfect memory and throws an axe. Colorblind. Chickens freak me out. Yeah, I'm going to take this one. The Barbarian Queen's the best one out of all of them. And now we need to put some money into upgrading our carrying capacity. And we will spend that as needed. So let's take a look at the blood sword. Let's take a look at it. Um, it doesn't do... It adds vampirism. That's useful. Alright, interesting. Not exactly, like, amazing or blowing my mind, but it's interesting. Easy enough. Okay, what can I do with this? It's unlocked, but I can't... I mean, yes, this is, like, the door to the boss. It's gotta be the door to the boss. Like, the final boss. Makes the most sense. Alright. Oh, eyeball. Uh, we'll just go over this way. Oh, now. Unnecessary damage. Chest, though. Not taking as much damage as I'd like. Got some good cash there. Alright, not bad. Keep pushing on through. What is this? Is this like games that they've made? Like, what games are this? What is this? What is this showing me? What am I not understanding there? Something. There's something I'm just not quite getting. There's some reference that they're making that I don't get. Oh, shit. Dead. Nice and easy. That guy should be pretty simple to kill. A couple of quick swings and he'll be dead. I love those big knights. They are literally the easiest thing ever. Um, and these guys are much more of a pain in the ass because they have that ranged attack that I for some reason like to just dive into at all costs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, there we go. We'll just swing over this way. Oh. And easy enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chest. What do we got? A knight's cape. Good to know. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as I tend to say lately for some reason. It's part of my vocabulary. I'm not quite entirely sure why. Whoa, oh, I thought that guy was going to hit me. Vampire. Not a challenge. Uh, I know it wasn't a vampire. That was a zombie. Don't ask me questions. Look, I'm a simple man. We should probably just start heading right. Yeah, no, I'm not going down here yet. I just don't think that is exactly what I, my character is ready for. I think he needs time. Time to mature before he heads down there. Alright, let's just head right. Yeah, that's where I want to go. I feel like the forest is where I should be going. These are kind of cool. Statues. Cherubs. What are these blinking things? I'm very curious what those blinking things are. This is a big room. Holy crap. Oh, oh. Actually, these guys are a bit easier to avoid, in my opinion, because they telegraph their, where they're going to attack. Granted, it does more damage, but they telegraph their attack a little bit um, more obviously. Alright, let's just jump up here. Skeleton. I thought he was going to be an immobile skeleton that just like fires off at me, but that apparently was incorrect. Coming here is definitely going to be the right decision from now on. Just rushing here as soon as I can. For the mere fact that they dr everything drops so much more money. The, the, good, the, the, the bonus that these enemies have that the other ones, the other mages didn't, is that they can attack from um, much, much, much further away than the rest could. Uh, Mini Kadir. Whoa. Okay. Nothing here. Oh, treasure chest. Nice. We got a silver helm. Lots and lots of gear is being found. At least in the forest, at least. Nothing in there. Ugh, this is gonna be one of those annoying... I hate these. I'm just not good at them, that's the problem. Oh, journal entry. 
From the number of dead adventurers I passed in these halls, I have come to the following conclusions. 1. Many did not take enough provisions with them. I assume many have died from hunger. I myself am running low and will have to find more supplies. 2. Many are missing clothes, which explains the pants wearing zombies. Uh, 3. No one has made it as far as I, because I haven't passed any corpse in over and out. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Well, well, Mr. Bones. Easy. He's actually a really easy kind of boss. Holy shit. These guys, on the other hand, a little bit more difficult. Again, though, everything drops so much more money over here. Come on. There we go. Easy kills, these guys are. That the forest is really not that difficult. At all. Like, sure, it poses a challenge, but overall, comparatively, um, the castle held much more of a challenge uh, early on when I was under upgraded. Maybe I'm just a little bit better off than I should be coming into this point in the game, but I feel like that's not the case. Wow, that is a lot of gold. Thank you, game. I love you too. You may have my baby, if you so wish. What the hell is this? Oh, nice. Full, like, uh, fountain of health. That's awesome. I should have kind of guessed what that was, but... I can't... I'd rather not have to jump and risk my life like that, but that's fine. Alright, Alright, those kind of go off on their own? Oh my god. Okay. And there's nothing else over here. There's a treasure chest, so, so it's obviously worth it. I mean, I'm making a metric butt-ton of money uh, on this run. Don't even need the miner. I mean, if I had the miner made this far, obviously it would have end ended up paying off dividends, but he's like like the game says, you, you lose a lot of health. He's weak. Not just physically, but like health-wise. He's just not all that hot. What the fuck? Okay, big guy. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh my lord. Alright, this is not impossible, man. This, this is not impossible. There's Barbados in this guy. Oh my god. Oh, are, they, are they both Barbados? I mean, I will just keep dancing around if I have to. Um, I don't want to have to give up. Uh, oh, I walked right into that. That was so stupid. Oh, I've, I have freaking sprint. The left trigger, right trigger. Should have done it. <sighs> oh well, um, that'll be it for the run for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. The forest is gonna be a great place. It's gonna be gives me tons and tons of money. Till then, guys, I'll see you next time.